Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me. I hope you guys can hear my audio. I don't have my little wireless microphone like I always do, but I'm waiting here for my little princess. As always, you guys catch me out on the East Coast around this time. And I just got done talking to my friends, uh, Mario, uh, who actually owns a franchise of meal delivery and prep uh, services, and he's opening stores here uh, in Oregon and got to meet his managers and whatnot. And I met his, uh, I guess, his district or whatever manager. And I got to talk to her. Uh, and we got into a tangent, which ended up being a coaching session, which is kind of hilarious. But going back to, I was asking them their market, what are they looking for uh, as far as Portland, Oregon market. And, you know, I was telling them that they got a great niche, and this is what brings me to today's topic, which is the be, the do, and the have, and instant gratification, okay? Um, especially for the last two weeks with a lot of the not foreseeing or, you know, suicide people that uh, we beloved so much, um, it kind of came to, to a realization to some of my clients how important the coaching of that segment about being do and having to do what you need to to get accomplished and become and last friday and this morning talking to the guys that ready fit go a little plug-in for the for their brand right um uh, i was telling them how i remember about a year or two uh one of these uh parenting uh, mom groups. Her name is Christina Kuchmik. I think that's how you say her last name. But she had a great uh, tool when, especially with moms that feeling down on themselves because they're not moving forward, they're not um, improving themselves. And the trick was to get a picture of yourself when you were a kid, maybe a teenager, maybe eight years old and whatnot. And put it somewhere very visible that you see it somewhere in your privacy, but it's quite yet visible. And whenever you feel like you're emotionally going on a spiral, down spiral, or feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or just frustrated the, the freaking hell out of you, go in front of that picture and talk to that picture and bring it down to the center uh, like you would. Because... Like nine out of ten times, we talk to ourselves worse than we will talk to a kid or a stranger. But uh, touching on what I talked last time, when we treat ourselves with the dignity and respect that we would our kids or a younger version of ourselves, it help us center. It help us come back to reality that. Yes, it is. Things are bad, maybe at home, financially, relationship wise, career wise, uh, employment wise, even relationship with your kids or your siblings. You know, it might not be as good, but you cannot uh, improve it if you keep going down the spiral instead of you improve it. So by using that technique of taking a picture of a younger version of you, or maybe even a picture of your kids, and talking to it, uh, quote-unquote coaching it, how would you bring it to a more uh, compassionate level? Big word that I really was harping on last week with you guys about compassion by action, and this is one way to act on it. So going back to the, the be, the do, and the have, if you want to be this person, Okay, let's say you want to be a super mom that got her shit together, are fairly in good place academically and health wise. Uh, your relationship is fairly good. Uh, none of the relationships are always awesome, there's always things to work on. Uh, financially, you feel stable and healthy enough financially. <clears throat> Who do you want to be? And then that's the B, and then you have to figure out what you need to do. Okay. In order to become that. But what do you need to do requires certain tools. 
which you need to have. And that's the having part. What kind of things do you need to have? You need to have a supporting uh, group, which is your closest four or five friends, right? You need to have a system or a plan to execute. You need to have, I brought it today, where is it? I know I brought it today. Uh, you need to have a certain framework, uh, which is this one that I was telling you guys last week, the, to see, check yourself periodically. I do mine every six weeks. Uh, periodically, if your plan that you're actually using, if it's working, if it's not working, you need to change it, right? Because that kind of is the definition of insanity, correct? Doing the same thing over and over, same thing, same result. So by using some my five filters, uh, you're willing and open to objectively see, because you're writing everything down, that you got the right plan, that you have the right system in check, that you have the right people, you know, helping you out. You have, you know, meal delivery system, that you have somebody helping you with the laundry, that you have somebody helping you with office related stuff, um, nannies, babysitters, and especially with summer coming around the corner, uh, on my book, this is perfect timing for a lot of us parents because we need to change plans. We need to kind of put this kind of like the kids put their backpacks away and bring your summer plan uh, because now you got them at home uh, the time that you were very productive during the year. So when you are in this mode of the be, the do, and the have, you're going to have what I call the instant gratification that's going to keep you moving forward. And physiologically, it feels good because it just releases... Um, dopamine in your brain and you're just jiving because you know you're you're heading in the right direction you're taking action you're not thinking about it you're not wondering about it you're just taking action which is super super uh effective in the sense that you really don't have time to to lollygag to to sit at starbucks and wonder or to read another book hoping that by reading that book things will get done so again the be the do and the have what do you, who do you want to be? Like that's you, that's your gig, that's your person. When we sit up with coaching clients, when I sit up with them, that's one or the big thing because then we need to figure out what we need to do. And that's the cross, crossing that we're like, well, do you need to do this program or that program or that other program? Uh, and then what do you need to have in place to help you do what you need to do? Tools primarily, right? Uh, and people and teammates and all that. Now, with that said, you know, one main reason I don't do this 14-day weight loss or, or why not is because it's really almost a disservice to a point to give you that little teaser of gratification, of growth, of progress, and then take it away from you, right? So I'd rather help you for 14, 21 days, figure it out. Who do you want to be? What do you need to do? And then at the end of those 14 or 21 days, if you're ready to, to get the tools and the team and the support that you need, then we move on to the half. Okay. So that's one reason why you don't see me do all this seven day detox or 14 days kind of thing that you see almost every fitness uh, doing out there just to flip a coin, flip a flip a paper. I'd rather do the few people that I have with good quality, good results, and longer uh, longer vision. All right. 